Hello, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Vanilla Bean Noel Antibacterial um, Moisturising Hand Lotion. Um, I think this retails at Bath and Body Works for about four or five dollars. I think um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, this one is from the Bath and Body Shop. Co.uk and is five ninety nine. Um, you could probably pick these up on eBay as well. Um, so what is it? Um, it's a moisturising hand lotion. Sorry, I'm waving this about a bit. <laughs> um, it's a moisturising hand lotion um, that softens and soothes as it kills germs. Um, the scent of it um, is it's described. Um, sorry, I have I have notes here because I did write it down. Um, it's a warm blend of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and rich comforting cream. Now, when I smell this initially, it just smells like a. Um, it smells like toffee to me. But that's probably a combination of the vanilla and the caramel. It's like a sugary toffee. Um, if you have what's it called? Um, Tiggy Bed Head for brunette. Um, the colour of shampoo. It smells similar to that. Um, it smells really nice. Um, as far as um, the moisturising levels go, it's a nice lotion. I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of a white colour and it has... I can kind of spread that out a bit. It has little blue beads. Um, I think those are probably what is the antibacterial agent that's in them, is in the beads. And of course, as you rub it in, um, they disappear. You don't, it doesn't feel gritty or anything. It just feels really soft and smooth. And also what I liked about this is it's not greasy. This really absorbs quickly. Um, I know I've said in other videos that I hate greasy lotions. hate them. Um, this one though, as soon as you finish rubbing it in, that's it, it's in. Your hands are soft and smooth. The smell is really nice. Um, it actually smells more in the tube than on your hands. Um, that makes sense. Um, once you've actually rubbed it in, you do get a light scent, but also um, you get the lotion-y scent, just of a plain lotion scent um, coming through more strongly than the actual um, like vanilla and caramel scent. Um, but it is still nice. And um, so if you're wearing another perfume or something, it's not going to overpower that or, or clash with it. So that's a good thing. Um, I wouldn't rely on this solely as um, a way to kind of cleanse your hands. Now I have like the pocket backs. Um, now if I needed to, obviously you want to wash your hands with soap and water whenever you can. Um, but sometimes if you're out and about, you can't really do that. Um, if it's just to moisturize your hands, if you're not going to be doing anything else really, like eating food or touching your face or something like that. Um, this will probably be fine in between hand washes or even in between using this or using it after you use this. Um, but I, I say, you know, like public toilets never ever ever have soap in them. I don't know why. They never have soap. So you kind of do your best what you can with just the water. And then I always use some of this. Now, I wouldn't just not use this. I just use this instead. If you see what I mean. Um, to me that's just a bit odd. <laughs> so I would use this and then maybe a little while later once my hands, you know, if they're feeling a bit dry or something, then I'd go ahead and use this. But I wouldn't rely on this solely as a, an alternative to washing your hands like you can with this. Um, I don't know, it just feels a bit strange to me. Um, I mean, it does, it does say it kills, um, well it says um, it used to decrease bacteria on the skin. The active ingredient is triclosan and it's 0.3% in here and it's an antiseptic. Um, uh, the hand backs is 68% alcohol. So yeah, this would be a better job as um, killing germs on your hands, you know, if you really want a clean, clean hands than this would. So um, yeah, I would say use this in combination with this if you want to, um, I know sometimes after using these, not all the time, especially in the winter time though, but my hands feel a little bit dry, so I would use this after. Um, there's not much else to say about it really, it's a hand lotion, it's, it, feel, it makes your hands feel nice, it's not greasy at all, it does not feel greasy, um, it leaves your hands nice and smooth. Um, the only thing is that the scent kind of disappears once you rubbed it into your hands. It smells better in the tube. 
um, you get that more concentrated scent. But once you rub it in, um, it just smells like a lotion to me. Um, but that doesn't put me off at all because it is a really nice hand lotion. So um, that is my review. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a great one. I'm not really good at reviewing things, but um, I would say it's it's worth giving it a try, um, especially around the holidays. Um, Bath and Body Shop UK has this in stock as of doing this video. Um, they also have warm candy apple of this. I'm not sure if that's in stock right now. Um, you can go ahead and check that though. I only checked this one because this is what I was reviewing. Um, yeah, and they're five ninety nine from there. So you know, they're cheap enough to get one for yourself, maybe one for a friend, give it um, as a Christmas present for somebody in the office. Stocking stuffer. Um, these are quite nice. Maybe you want to get one of these as well to go along with it. Um, so yeah, that's it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.